Hello, this is Caspaloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! The, this is going to be really hard to sync up edition, because I'm on the stupid chocobo, which is kind of laggy, actually. Unfortunately, this is one of the downsides of the, of the advanced version of the game. Going into mode 6, I think it's mode 6. Anyway, going into this mode tends to lag out the game a little bit. This isn't happening on my end, mind you. This is totally software lag. Uh, in any case, fortunately, it's not really a major concern, because we aren't going to be spending much time on Chocobo, and by the time we have something else that goes into this mode, it moves so fast anyway, it doesn't really matter if there's a bit of slowdown. Now then, I need to actually find that freaking cave. I don't remember where it is. I should probably just get off the chocobo, to be honest, but I don't really feel like fighting a whole bunch of random encounters looking for the cave. Uh, it should be to the south somewhere, right? Maybe it's in here? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Off the chocobo. There we go. Let's just save. And let's just see. Do I have anything? No. And I don't have anything for you, but... Okay. Wait, you have a mithril knife? Huh. I didn't even know. Well, whatevs. Let's get on with the show. How convenient he's holding our chocobo for us. King Edgar, where are you headed, sire? Through the cave and eastward towards South Figaro. We we'll then make for the Returner headquarters in the north. Return to the castle and pass the word along. Understood, sire. Take care. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can return to the castle right now. Um, I'm gonna assume that we cannot. Although I really probably shouldn't, because not only would a free rest be nice, but we have Edgar now, so we can buy a lot of stuff really cheap there. Like, for the most part, I'm gonna be, well, basically cheaping out on my item shops until I can stock up in Figaro. Because it's by far the cheap, the least expensive place to do it. Um, do I have any? No. But I digress. We are in Figaro Cave, and there's stuff in here. Oh, it's a recovery spring. How convenient. Um, with a turtle. I wonder if it's related to Sage Guido. Hornets and Fooper, eh? Well, let's try to steal something, and then let's use Bio Blaster. Bio Blaster! Not as effective as Auto Crossbow, it must be said. But it does inflict poison, which is, you know, nice. Auto crossbow. Caroline learned cure poison. Cool. So she gains magic on level ups, which is convenient, you know. Uh, now this cave is pretty straightforward, but. I should mention, there are three boxes in here, um, two ethers and a phoenix down. Two of these boxes, well, let me start over. One of these boxes is fine to take, is one of the ethers. However, two of the boxes, the other ether and the phoenix down, turn into other things later on in the game that we are going to want later on in the game. And, 
I don't know which of the eithers it is that is fine to take. At least I don't remember. With this in mind, I'm not going to pick up any of the boxes in here. Because, well... Yeah. Because I can't do so safely without screwing my, potentially screwing myself out of an item that I want later in the game. Is what it boils down to. Auto crossbow. It must be said, the animation for that crossbow is way more smooth in this version than it was in the... Well, the PS1 version, anyway. The one that I played. Anyway. Any who? Any what? Um... Let's go in here. Wait, no. Uh... Really? I thought there was a thing here. Whatever. Um... Hmm... Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm a little bit lost, because I haven't been here in a while. Uh... Is this the save point? No, it is not. This goes to that box, does it? No, this is the exit? Really? Okay. I feel a little bit lost, but you know, the fact of the matter is, I didn't actually want to pick up anything in that cave, and we'll have to come back here later anyway, so I'll, ma I'll just have to show you around better then, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever. It's not a big deal. Um... Wait, what are you? Belmodar. Let's try Noise Blaster! I hope he doesn't absorb- damn it. Of course he absorbs lightning. Mithril Claws? I think that's a rare steal. Huh. That was unexpected. Uh, you actually have a lot of life. I shouldn't have stole the game. It doesn't have any items. Uh, just don't- Ew. Oh, hey, we killed it. And we got a high potion. Let's see, I want to heal... like so. And Mithril Claw. Obviously, no one, we don't have anyone who can use this right now. I'm just so surprised we got that in the first place, though. Uh, anyway, we want to go here, to South Figaro. Ooh, you look mysterious. No, get out of my way! Oh, he went into the pub. I'll find you yet, guy! Oh, here- oh, he has a dog! And... Right, ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Back off, Locke! That guy looks familiar! Yeah, that's him, alright. He comes and goes like the wind, swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Except perhaps one, but we'll get to that later. Introducing Shadow, the mercenary ninja. Um, he's, he's a little bit scary. Uh, that's Shadow. He's an assassin. He'd kill his own best friend for... The line is, he'd kill his own grandmother for a... Well, I want to say nickel. Maybe Penny? You get the gist. Anyway. Guess we better steer clear of him, then. I guess so. And then I talked to him again immediately. Duncan's been training his boy, Vargas, along with his other students. 
He's always grumbling about how the kid never seems to make any progress. Hmm. Wait. Huh? Kids aren't allowed in here? Okay, okay, fine. She's not leaving. Uh, anyway, let's go down here! Here's the thing about South Figaro. It is absolutely fill- it is absolutely lousy with hidden passages that are redundant. Interesting, but redundant. Out of my way, I gotta get this cider over to the old timer, cause see, some of us have jobs! Now scram! And off he goes. I suppose. Hmm. Anywho, I don't really. Well, let's go to the inn anyway. Actually. Ah, uh, that seems a little bit pricey to be honest, but. It probably isn't. I'm just using Golden Sun prices. <laughs> probably. It, which would make sense since I've been editing so much of that lately. Not to mention playing it and just... It's just all gold- Ooh, hello. Figaro Castle stood up to the Empire? Great, now we'll all be drawn into this. No, no comment on sharing your bed, eh? Well, okay then. Case to earlier point. Actually, is this the... It's the relic shop. I've been needing to visit here. We want... Um, now, you can actually justify getting more than one of these. For a reason that will become clear later. Keep in mind that this purely... All that this does is create its field effect. That's it. Uh... Getting more than one is not a terrible idea, though. I'm not gonna get more than one, though, so hopefully I just won't screw up later on. Uh, yep. I'm just gonna buy one of everything, by the way. Petrification, and it grants cover. You see, which brings us into a really neat mechanic in this game, sort of the precursor to Materia of Final Fantasy VII. Relics. Each character can equip two, and they act at their accessories, like this, that give you prevent darkness, but they also give you abilities, like cover, or there's one that gives you jump. To name two examples. Uh, let's see, we want to give this guy this. You should have the sprint shoes. You should have, um... Let's see... Poison and... Darkness, I guess. And you can have Petrification, I suppose. <laughs> he doesn't need to worry about Darkness because his auto weapons will almost always deal more damage than his physical attack. Almost. Um... Tr truth be told, she can use magic, so she probably doesn't need Darkness protection either, but... Whatever. Um... Okay. Now that we got that, we still have one more stop to make here, I think. Maybe more. Truth be told. Um... We need to... Oh, hey! Let's go to the dock. I don't think there's anything out here, though. Nope. Nope. Nothing here. Yet. Uh, or possibly ever. Okay, maybe auto dash wasn't such a great idea. I'll admit it, because we're going way faster now because of the sprint shoes. Eh, I'll leave it on. I don't really care. I don't wanna... I don't wanna walk, okay? Why walk when you can run? Um, is... Oh, hey, uh, wait, wait. Nope. Really? There's... no? I thought for sure there was. Whatever. Let's just go over here. 
Uh, we want this one. Because we can finally replace that stupid knife. Um. Also, ooh, they can both use swords, uh, making the knife somewhat redundant. Huh. And I'm out of money. That's a, that's a little inconvenient. A little bit. And a little bit unexpected, truth be told. Well, hmm. So much equipment to buy, so little money. Okay, what I'm probably going to end up doing is, between this episode and the next one, I'll do a little bit of money grinding. Not that it's really necessary, I should say, because it really isn't at this point of the game, I don't think. But, at the same time, it's, e it's a lot easier if you do have all of your up-to-date equipment like, the best equipment you can carry, which stands to reason, really, that it would be. And... This being a Let's Play, I don't really want to put unnecessary challenges on myself when there is an easy alternative. Oh, hey, a potion! And in this case, the easy alternative is to grind up so I can buy equipment. Uh, which reminds me, let's put that dagger on you. Knife, whatever. It's only plus four. <laughs> Oi. Uh, one more stop here, though. This big-ass house. I wonder if it'll really come to war. Maybe I should go home now, before it's too late. Mm. Actually, there's a lot of items hidden around the city, truth be told. Most of which I don't remember where they are. Uh, there is... Other than that potion, though... Hmm... Well... Here's the thing. All of the items in Figaro, you can are also items you can get later in the game as well. But... With the... With one or two possible exceptions... Uh, what, exceptions that are not large enough for me to bother making the distinction. You're better off getting these items right now. Because they are more useful... The items you get now are more useful than the items you get later on in the game. Relative to the time period you're in. Mind you. Clang, 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 clang. I'm match tech armor. Because obviously it takes a lot less to be useful at this point in the game than it does way later on. Uh, okay. General who? General Lee... <laughs> uh, I really will probably have to disable auto-dash. Oh well. Eastern border. What? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, sorry, I may be the richest man in town, but even that doesn't keep me from being startled. Attacking the town... Hmm... There's always a nasty draft in this room. Where's it coming from? I'm afraid I'll catch a cold. I believe it's coming from... here. Yep. It is indeed. Although, there's nothing down here that I recall. At least not yet. I mean, it's a secret passage, so obviously it'll be important at some point, but it's not right now. Uh, I, although I think there are some items. In, yeah, there's boxes. I see them right there. Uh, boxes that I cannot... There we go. Money! And more money! That'll save us some time. Empty? I hope I didn't just screw myself on that one. Um, if I did, oh well, I suppose. I mean, like, what are you gonna do, right? Pretty much. Anyway, let's just, you know, yeah, let's just, let's just go out of here. 
it's I'm at 20 minutes, and I did a little bit of cutting earlier, but not really much. So let's just focus on getting those items that I really want. Because there's two in particular that we really want to get right away. Uh, the other ones, well, well, they're more useful now than they are later in the game. But at the same time, they're, well, it's pretty neutral, I'd say, really. In any, in any case, in any case, let's just Phoenix down. Ah, that, wait. What? A Phoenix down? Should, that doesn't seem right. Should this have been a phoenix down? Okay, wait a second. I uh, I need to fact check something. Um, that didn't match up with with my to get list at all. So a potion. This is a. Oh wait, no, no, that that was actually correct. Okay, okay, uh... There we go. Okay, that was weird, the phoenix down. According to my notes, that shouldn't have been a phoenix down, but whatever. Uh, cures imp status. Cool. Right, so I'm just gonna... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I don't know. Let's just go through my list in order, I guess. Uh, next one is down over over here. Is it up there? I think it's up there. Maybe not. It's, maybe it's down here. Oh, hey, by the way. Door. Um. Okay, I'm gonna need to go back to Final Fantasy 2 style for this, I think. I'll, insofar as writing down what I actually want is concerned. Because I'm terrible at reading my notes unless I organize them a certain way when it comes to hunting down items. Uh, what am I even looking for? Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong side of freaking town! No wonder I'm not finding it! Dude, come on! Get with the program. What I really want is this golden needle. Ha ha! And then from here, we want to go check here because this is an antidote. And I already picked up that one. And then. Okay. Okay, um... Whatever. I don't even- that's just a potion, I don't even care about that. North... Let's see, that should be... up there. So, I need to remember how I get up there. <laughs> Oh, this is how. Haha! -ha! That's what I really wanted. The teleport stone, which I don't even remember what it does. Uh, enchanted teleports out of the out of a dungeon or battle. Okay, so it casts teleport once. It's a consumable. It's an actually useful in magic consumable, like. It's just wacky that it that that would actually happen, but it's nice. In any case, we are done in South Figaro now. So, or I think we are. Maybe I have something else I need to do here. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done here. So, on that note, now that I'm five minutes longer than I wanted to be. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue! Hunting for items in South Figaro Edition. And until next time, have a great day.